and your current clerk recorder assessor. Both I'd like to thank Mr. Rothman, Judge Letton, and all of you for coming out tonight um, out of your busy lives to meet your candidates before casting your vote. A little bit about me. I moved to Trinity County in 1982. I married my husband, Greg, 30 years ago, and we're successful. And we do a lot of work with the cannabis growers, too. We're the proud parents of two daughters who were born and raised in Trinity County. A close so relative got me a job because I didn't have a degree. Through hard work and dedication, I am now your county clerk recorder assessor. I because I was appointed my that position. And I'm three courses away from my advanced certificate. I also have a certificate in Which, like high school, I'll never complete. towards a California Professional Elections Administration credential. I continue to attend annual trainings um, to keep me up on various law changes and procedures. But I have no idea what you're talking about and cannot remember a single thing. To protect the confidentiality of voters' information. I bully the observers as honestly, often and as and hard as I possibly can. I get a big voters. joy out of it. I've increased office hours open to the public. I've Except when I threw out a whole bunch of registration cards and failed to count some provisional ballots. I've the election law? I don't need no stinking election law. In this office. My experience has provided me the knowledge and understanding that ensures I'm doing it just the way it's always been done, and that's that. Although I may not be the best public speaker, I am the candidate with the most experience for this position, and I look forward to continue serving you. I and beg you, please. I don't want to go Thank on you. welfare. I don't know how to do it. The confidentiality of voters has been one of my biggest fights as, as being the clerk recorder assessor. Uh, there, there are people who believe that your information in your voter record should be open to the public. There is no law that says it should be, and I will fight for that and make sure that your information is kept confidential. Um, as for the training the information of my staff, I have a very... So confidential, it posted for everyone to see that goes to vote at a precinct polling place. If it's voters' information you're not trying to hide, then what is it? The way you mishandle ballots? Observation, you do have the right to observe the process of an election, every single one of you do. You do not have the right to see voters' confidential information. Yes, your votes cast is definitely confidential. Your address, your driver's license number, your phone number, that's all confidential information. There's certain requirements that allow If you, you can't to tell by the way she is the stating this, that she has bullied the voters and the observers volunteering their time, then you're not seeing the same video I am. You may want to hit pause to read this next thing. This is the law that disputes everything she just said, period. Windows are great if you're watching a pizza being made and you want to make sure they don't drop it on the floor. But if you're looking in an office where they're shuffling papers, who knows what's going on? They may even be counting the ballots. But that's highly doubtful. Um, there was a grand jury report last, last year. Um, and, and unlike what was said, it's all factual information. It's not factual information. Um, the, the members of the grand jury we're part of the group that is, uh, some of the members of the grand jury are part of the group that have filed lawsuits that are holding up the Mountain Valley Joint Unified School District bond um, to clean up the, the issues that they have with their schools there. Um, I wrote a response to that grand jury report. The Board of Supervisors wrote a response to that grand jury report. So I would encourage everybody to look at all of those. Um, and if you have any questions for me, feel free to ask me because I'm an open book and I'll, I won't lie. Um, the Warning. This is the face of a bold face liar. The grand jury had facts that they had serious questions about that she denied categorically that she was doing wrong. And because she has issues with the Board of Supervisors and their property assessments, I'd like to know what's going on there. She gets favor and gets defended by that same board. Plus, she lied about there being a member of the grand jury suing her, and it was her that was sued, not the county, for putting the bond issue for the school 
on the ballot wrongfully. All on her. She could have corrected this. She did not. Lies, lies, lies. Shame on you. So there you have it. If you want to have questions about what your property is assessed for and was it assessed properly, if you want to have questions about are you registered to vote or will your vote be counted properly, relax Shauna White. If not, make the right choice. You know what I mean. Thank you for checking this video out. Next, we'll have the property values of supervisors that have majorly undervalued their property to lessen their property tax in such a major way it will scare you and you'll want to know how it's done. Maybe we should ask them that question next week. Good luck. Have fun. See you then.